am I live? Let me just double check my audio. We're going to be trying a couple of new things here today. Uh, I hope you guys are excited because we sure are. Uh, I'm just about to go live. I'm checking everything out. Sure. Yes, ma'am. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it already. Let me make sure this is up. That's better, right? That's better, right? Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Easy there. That's right. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Does that work? Does that come in? Does that, like, do I need, like, to tune it down? Or what can I do to do that? I'm working on some different th things, guys. Sponsorship. Things are really starting. We're really doing it on. We're dialing it in. We're getting it to where we want to get it to. Maybe some sort of, like, a shading or something. That really doesn't work that good, does it? I was hoping to have like a screen, just like the newscasters, you know, you're standing there. Hi, this is Bart Burke from the Happy Oyster Company, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean, right? So you have that, and then I can, I can click over here, and I can go like, you know. And also, our special sponsors, the Peconic Baykeeper. And of course, how can you forget Oyster Tracker? You know, this is what I want to, and if I can click it through, and you guys can see it at the same time. I'm just trying out a couple of new things. We're constantly tuning and building, and that's what today's show is all about. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm your host, Bart Burke, and we are the Happy Oyster Company. And we are kicking it over here, and we got Fast Freddy, the Angry Bayman, in the house. Captain Freddy. Captain Fast Freddy. The, his, his name keeps going on and on. Good morning, Jim Payton. Good morning. And we got Skipper T in the house. Look at that. Hi, Skipper T. Hey, everybody. Saturday. All right, so I am wearing a mic today, so I didn't expect to have as many people. I did not know. I got a very action-packed weekend. I got a great show. We're talking about a whole bunch of different things. Before I get started, today's show is brought to you by Netminder Aquaculture Coatings. And then I would click over here, and if I can figure this out, so that way that would go on too. And boom, Netminder Aquaculture Coatings, um, guys. Is it a beer or a brush? Which one would you rather have in your hand? Aquaculture Coatings allows you to have one or the... Never mind. We'll get into that later. The stuff works. Guys, I really, really, really super do. You know, we would not endorse anything if we did not feel strongly about it. And we very still feel very strongly about Netminder Aquaculture Coatings. Go down and check out their videos in below. I see that they just made a new re website update. It's really cool. Check them out. Uh, brand new to the Happy Oyster Company. We are very, very, very proud to bring to you a brand new official sponsor of the Happy Oyster Show, uh, Oyster Tracker Inventory Management. You've got to have it. If you don't have it, you're not going to know what's going on. And why not have the best, the, the software that is engineered specifically for aquaculture. Check out Oyster Tracker. We had a great meeting this week with uh, Chip Terry. He came down and he checked the sauce and he ran us through and I'm really dialing it in. I already was dialing it in, but I just wanted to have some sort of documentation instead of by hand. And I'm gonna show you guys today how dialed in we really, really are with our seed program. This is getting to be the time of the year where it's time to start to think about cold weather. It's, we still got at least two months worth of good growing out there, uh, but proactive. Be proactive. Understand your inventory. That way you're going to be able to make the decisions ahead of time and Oyster Tracker is going to allow you and we're going to show you exactly how tuned in we really are. Rookie year, maybe I'm going overboard, maybe it's too much labor. Is there such a thing as too much labor? Is there such a thing as 
your product can't get any better. Is there such a thing? Uh, what comes after Dynasty? That was one of the questions that came up on, uh, in Pillow Talk with my wife and I the other day. Uh, just letting you know where we're going. We're giving it everything we got. I am full steam ahead 24-7. It's all about oysters over here. And thank you guys for all tuning in. Today would not be possible without the great support of our third sponsor, the Peconic Bay Keeper. The Peconic Bay Keeper allows us to do what we do. Again, we had a meeting with Pete Topping over there at Peconic Bay Keeper, and a great guy. Uh, shared some of our visions with him. Uh, in the beginning, the Happy Oyster was kind of like this little snowball that was just a little one, you know, a little pea. And it started to roll, and it started to roll, and it started to roll. And right now, it's got a lot of steam, and it's got a lot of traction, and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And obviously, exponentially, it's getting bigger and bigger, quicker and quicker. And you got to stay on top of it. And Pete and I are talking about some very, very neat and innovative things. And again, special hats off to Peconic Baykeeper. Thank you guys for so much. All right, I think I got all of that on, uh, taken care of. How's everybody else doing out there? We had a hell of a week. Um, slowly but surely, things are really, really... Let me tune this up over here so I know that Freddie's going to come over and check it out over here. Oh, we got a bunch of people on. That's beautiful. I like it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. You know, we wouldn't be half as much fun if it wasn't for you guys. I thank you all for tuning in each and every week. My hair is getting to be crazy. I got this dreadlock thing going on. 53 years old and I'm going for dreadlocks. Woo! That's crazy. Um, fun though. Jimmy Payton, you sold your house. Go, go, go. Bring it on home. We got Jelly in the house. We got soundtrack of our lives. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, we're going to have a little tune. We're going to have a little break in the action here. We're going to just, I'm going to move over there for a minute. Let me tune this over here. And maybe we go into that kind of mode for a half a second. Oh, we got Captain Freddy, the angry Bayman in the house. Captain Fred, what's going on over there? You got nothing for me? My microphone is... You gonna show the people what you got going on? Here, hold this for a second. Put that close to your thing. <laughs> Not that thing. That works. So, Fred came in. We've been working... What, what's the biggest problem we got, Fred? I'm gonna hook this on your beard, is that right? Don't go too far without holding on to that. You need a rope. Um, I'll, be the, I'll, be the, I'll be the cage or whatever. All right, so tell them what our biggest problem is, Fred. The biggest problem is, yeah, when you want to put the cages back in the water, you got to stand up on the table and throw them off the side of the boat so they go in the water flat and straight and straight and they're heavy so I came up with this thing here which is this is a piece of sailboat hardware that goes on a head stay or a, something and what it's going to do is it's going to hook onto the rope like this and then we're going to put it up through the davit on the boat and this is going to be the cage here and it's going to go up through the davit so I'll be able to lift the cage up off the deck of the boat with the winch and then we'll swing the cage out and we'll hold, hang it on the winch and the cage will be hanging over the water and then we'll let the cage down until it touches the water and then Bart will pull a string that will be hooked to this eye and when you pull a string this will pop open and the cage will come off and the cage will go into the water and then we'll hook this onto the next cage hoist it back up, hoist it back up swing it out, let it down when it hits the water pull the thing it will pop open and the cage will go into the drink the problem is that <laughs> Here's here comes, here comes the, wait a minute, wait a minute, time out, right. time out. There's, the problem is, every, number one, everything. Freddy is cheap. That's right. <laughs> That's the, the number one problem. This is $100 right at here. Least at $100. least $100, this piece right here. 
I happen to have it in my junk box, okay? <laughs> so now it's free. So now it's free. Okay. So now here's the issue. The issue is all problems can be solved. This hole in here is 5 16 It's left-hand thread, which is, it sucks. This is a, five, <laughs> this is, a, this is five, it could be, it could have just been easy. This is 5 16 regular thread. It should screw in here. It won't screw in here it could, because it's left-hand thread. It goes backwards. So anyway, once we solve that problem, we get some piece of stainless steel to screw in there. Then we just cut this off and we weld a ring on it and we got the piece we need and it doesn't cost us anything. I like that. We hope. <laughs> right. We hope. So, but that is right. our biggest problem is right. opening these things off. It's right. dangerous too. Right. right. It's dangerous because I'm afraid I'm going to fall in the drink because I'm doing right. one of these. Right. We, yeah. know, we know this is going to, this is absolutely going to work. There's no question about it. Yeah. It's, it really is. It's going to work. Get a little closer up that. This is pretty nicely machined in here. Yeah. Uh, I'll have you know. Yeah, that's a hundred bucks all day long. Uh, I ordered one 80 something of a quick release. It's supposed to be coming tomorrow or maybe even later today. And then Freddie found this thing. We've been talking about this for a while because it's been one of our big problems. And then obviously what happens is that that. Right. The problem is with the, 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 the issue with the one that you bought for $80. The problem is, is that when it opens up, the geometry may not let the rope come out of it. We're not. We're not sure. We're not sure. We're not sure. We're, not don't, sure. Don't, we're gonna find out. But I'm saying that that that's gonna, that's gonna be my bet, my guess, right there. This one here, no problem, no hands, no touching anything. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. So it's all good. All right. So that covers that. So we've been pretty, pretty, pretty busy, as you can see around here. I banged out a hole. Let me give you a little quickie view here of what's going on. Uh, we got to get my T-shirt machine. has got to get the heck out of here. All right, because we're getting into, oh, we have a new visitor in the town, or maybe an old visitor. You guys remember Raquel? She's been hanging out doing some yoga lately uh, around, the, around the barn. Uh, so I got to get the T-shirt manufacturing facility out of here all right as you can see i was up late last night and i started laying them out and banging them out and banging them out and banging them out and banging them out and then after i got done with those ones i did long sleeves long sleeves are downstairs and then to top it off uh i don't have a camera person here oh maybe i do Possibly. Tony Joe is in the house. So I decided upon myself to, you know, now that you can, I can't see the camera. Uh, the, the marketing machine is underway. The marketing machine and everything else is underway. When the permits finally hit, things started to go like I was talking about before. I've been playing the game for a long time, but now it's for myself and it's a whole nother ball game and we are really dialing it in. And I'm gonna show you exactly how badly we're dialing it in. Could you just reach in that back refrigerator and give me those, carefully your head. Uh, see, you almost hit her, she almost hit her head on the, on the screen. Yeah, that was right there. I'm coming up to this part about, you know, dialing it in and dialing it into the tune of how dialed in do you really, really wanna make it, you know? Um, I got three different sizes of oysters in here, and we're dialing it in. Each one of them is absolutely perfect. There's a reason why each one of them is exactly perfect, is because we're dialing it in. You're going to be really amazed at this. But in the meantime, before I get carried away, the dialing it in also consists of the marketing machine. The marketing machine is going to be any kind of things that you give away. I'm not quite there. I was kind of embarrassed. I wasn't able to give. I had two visitors, two critical visitors, two sponsors that came by and I gave one of them got a got a sweatshirt that was cool but the other one I didn't have his size I wasn't quite there here we come with that old dilemma so I got pissed off last night and I said damn it that ain't gonna happen again so I banged out all of my long sleeves all of my short sleeves and now I'm prepared if I have a visitor here's a t-shirt you gotta have you gotta be ready but when I ordered the last time I just wanted to share this one with you I got a uh, I got a windbreaker 
uh, a windbreaker anorak, and it's out. Nylon, kind of nice. I'm kind of proud of it. Uh, it worked. I didn't know if it was. I didn't know if it was gonna work. What's that? Huh? T-shirt rack or? Remember that thing was all all compartments. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got rid of that. I know, huh? Didn't we know it, huh? We should have. We should have. We should have kept it. So anyway, um, I can now print these. Uh, this is a really, I mean, it really, you know, I, I'm getting there, T, I'm getting there. It's got a zipper in the front. Uh, here, it's got the pockets here, right? Uh, is there a pocket in here? I don't know. I didn't even examine uh, The uh, And then it's a hood. Got a hood, right? Hood. It is water resistant. It's not too bad. This, 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 uh, this piece right here, Let's say we had somebody who was coming on the boat that didn't necessarily bring enough gear, and it was somebody from out of state or this or that, or maybe it was a spot. Who knows? Boy, you want to make a statement? Here, this is for you. Bang! How much did this cost me? You ready for this? This anorak right now, wholesale, by the sitting per piece, I think it's 20 bucks. Print it out. Nice. This is an $80 piece right here on some people's website. This is the marketing machine. I'm trying to help you guys. I have a lot of oyster farmers out there doing it, watching us. And I appreciate all of you guys. Let me help you. I'm in my rookie year. Maybe you could help me some way. Please. I'm, we're open. My shop, your shop. Let me help you. We're going to put Long Island on the map. Come along. Lead, follow, or get out of the way. Oh. You're right. It's the same back with everybody. Sorry, guys. I get so excited. You like that, T? That great. You want yours? You want one? Or is this too big for you? All right. So, that takes care of that. Moving on. Dialing it in. Um... Let me just fix this for a second, all right, guys? Let me just take a time out between onsies and offsies and sweatshirts and t-shirts and my dreadlocks are... When am I getting the mankini? <laughs> the printing the mankini? Yeah. I gotta get smaller logos. I guess you need to get smaller, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More ways than one. Hey, it's, opera it's operational, isn't it? See, this is why we need better microphones. There's some pretty good banter going on in the shot right now. That's all right, Lester. Well. <laughs> <sighs> all right. Glasses right here. How much time are we on? Okay, cool. All right. Dialing it in and understanding what you have, where it is, what you're doing with it, and all of the above. <clears throat> The training that I've had was learned that was the more you play with them, the better off they are. But there comes a point where you've got to be careful. You're going to lose some no matter how you play with them. There comes a time of manipulation. Let me get to my notes here for a quickie because I made some really good ones here. Okay, here we go. Farming versus manufacturing. Are we farming it? Are we manufacturing it? Uh, separation, conditioning, and manipulation. Let me just back up for half a second what I just said so that everybody hears. It sounds evil. Separation, conditioning, and manipulation. It sounds like a concentration camp. Uh, are we manufacturing? Are we playing? What are we doing here? All right? I don't know. I'm having the time of my life. We're separating them. We're getting so technically separating. What's the difference between this one and this one? Okay. Not much. So you got three sizes here. They go dumped in there. They retain on the top. You get this size here, and then you get the ones that are fall through here, right? So there's three sizes. When you're at this size here, we're starting to think about they're going to the happy place, to the far happy place, to the sanctuary to their resting place out in the Great Peconic Bay to grow nice and big and plump. 
This is the magic right here. These two, when they hit to this stage, we're going to the magic place, to the happy place, to the beautiful Peconic Bay. What's that, Fred? Your product depends on your seed. Okay. Where your seed comes from. When we started out, we started out, why do we, let's go to the biggest, the bestest, and whatnot. Manipulation. We've been playing with these guys since they were two millimeters old. Skeptics. I had people that were skeptics. If you go to our Instagram and check it out, there's a the history. I got little piles of five, and people were looking and sitting to me, they're never going to get bigger. They're never going to get bigger. And I'm like separating them out, and I'm separating them out. And I'm very careful with the hose because here's where you could lose somebody. Oh! And, pshh, and they all go over. Tony Joe knows what I'm talking about. But each week, meticulously, give it a little rub, give it a little stir, give it a little sift into the different flavors, and then you let it sit, and you let it stew, and you come back the next week, and you diligently, over and over and over, separate, condition, and manipulate the seed. They're not gonna get any bigger. Let me see, where are they at? Yeah, those ones are, the, and those ones, <laughs> and that was a week yeah. ago. That was a they're fast growers, get, the oh, fast growers week. Okay, so now, we're dealing with some haters here. I'm talking about some haters because we've had some haters and we've had some skeptics and we have some people. The only thing I'm worried about right now are poachers and sabotagers. I'm worried about, I'm concerned about. <clears throat> All right. Not. Fred's not. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull out three. These, each one of these represents three separate strains. Each one of these represents three separate containers. I keep them separated, okay? And then we condition them, and then we manipulate them. Conditioning, manipulating might be the same thing. I don't know. I'm gonna draw these out. T, you're gonna to wanna to probably go handheld or scoot it off. No, no, I wouldn't even go handheld. I would just uh, put this up on? like this. Yeah, it'll stay together, and then use this accordingly. Right. But keep, when, you, when you're stopping, keep it on the ground. All right, let's see. Let me go to a nice fresh piece of paper. Morning, Zip. Good morning, Zip. What's happening? All right, we got that one. We got these ones. And then we got these ones. So these are the ones that come falling through the end. These are the ones in the middle. And these are the ones that actually, these and these are retained on number one. The reason that they're separated is because these were retained on this size last week and I kept them separated and then these ones that came along this week and they were retained. So this one and this one relatively is the same one. Meaning, back up for a half second, all the way. Wow. Meaning that you got those two are going through here and this one here. There is none that are coming through here. So again, like I said, when they're at this stage, it's time to go. All right? But How did he become established enough? Yeah. It's called back up. Back up. We got a hater on. I love it. I love it. Or maybe he's not a hater. Maybe he's just curious as no, to I where did know. I, where, I I where is my experience coming from? Where is it coming? Where is my experience coming from? These are one of those guys. Okay, guys, it's not like I just came out of thin air. I've been lurking for approximately three years right now. How, many, how much time did you waste at Cornell learning how to do the crap? I never wasted any time at Cornell learning how to do the crap. It was not wasted. Education is never wasted. I just learned, and I sat down, and I got passionate. It's okay. Hate me all you want. Here we go. Come on back in here, T. Can I have those calipers over there, please? Where are they? Right on? there. We don't know if he's a hater. We don't know if he's a hater. Maybe he's just, you know, hey, he's skeptic. trying to figure it out. Skeptic, whatever. Huh? Yeah, a skeptic, right. All right, we enjoy all types. I do. In fact, I love, that makes me, it gives me more fuel. Here, here, here. The difference here and here is only two millimeters. Bing, bing, and bing. There's two millimeters between the two. Is there a difference, like, is there a purpose of keeping this one separated from this one and this one and letting them grow? Yes, major differences. They grow faster. Why do they grow faster? I've been doing it for 50 years. And he didn't believe me when I said we got to keep them separated. I've been doing it for 50 years. He learned. Right. Back up. Now Back I'm up. On it. Now I'm 
an expert. <laughs> I can preach to all of I can preach to any establishment. Back up for heavens, because I, I knew this might go this yeah, way. Yeah, this I is knew going. This, I knew this was going this way. Uh, <laughs> I'm a preacher, but, too. I can preach to anybody. I've been on the water for 50 years, you guys. Probably longer than some of you been alive. And this is the guy that I, again, it's who you know, who you bring yourself into. Again, me, who, what makes me the authority? I bring this guy in with me. Yeah, that's first. what he's, that's first. Okay. I have no idea what, how to use a boat. Right. Uh, I, he I, does. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> he knows exactly how to use a boat. He he's knows, not going to get you He knows how to survive in any situation because I've been there and done that. So there it is. Okay, <laughs> it's all of, you know, it's all about that. So that's what makes us an experience. I'm bringing the technical side. He's bringing a lot of, of extreme knowledge and experience from Wonderful. years and years and years. Half the people out there couldn't get the boat where we have it tied up out into the bay, out yep. of the marina. All right, <laughs> enough. So there, so, un, all right, Fred, enough preaching, yeah, enough preaching. You get the boat out of the marina, get all it right. Exactly. And, we, and safely. All we right, so Fred, now, Fred's what makes me the authority? I love it. I'm not an authority. I'm just still learning. Bing. So we got all of these guys. So when we manipulate them, we break this edge. Via. Via. At this stage, we just do it manually, back up, in the water, go over to our videos. We got a lot of different videos. One of our latest short videos shows how this is done in only about two minutes. And we put them in here, and we give them a little swoosh manually. It's labor intensive. It's about four to five hours to go through 300,000 animals. We like the brush. The brush he used, okay, here, here, comes, here comes another one. Now, Freddie, the skeptic, okay? In the beginning, all right? Freddie sat on the dock, and he just watched. Again, he was learning at the time. He was skeptical, big time skeptical. And he might throw a little comment in here or there. And then it came down to, I'll hold the hose for you, Bart. And he held the hose for me, okay? And he sat there and held the hose and did this thing. Then the next thing you know, the other day, Freddie's in there all the way. He's got... The brush now, and he's giving it the stir, and he oh, says, the, the, brush, one, the, the, br one. the brush works good, Bart. Look, it really scrubs him down. It gets him good. I'm like, Fred, you're learning. Thanks so much. Bang, baby, bang. The technical and the practical and the both of them merging. Powerhouse is the word. The Dynasty shell, is the word you're looking for. When the shell comes off, you know you're doing something. <laughs> when, you, when you got that gritty shell in the bottom of the bucket. When you got the wet, the, when you the got wet. that grit in the bar that looks like sand in the bottom of those big black buckets, you know you're doing something because you're knocking the growth lip off. It's like your fingernail. It's a very fine, sharp edge on the oyster, and and when you when you mush them around in the bucket with the brush, they 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 go around like they're rubbing on each other, and and they break off all that little growth. That's what makes them go to a nice curved cup and a nice flat top. That's why the oysters that we have are like, every one is, we were looking at them the other day. It's amazing. It's amazing. Every oyster is perfect. But I it, maintain that. How many oysters do you think we got in there, Fred? In which bucket? In, uh, in, those, in those seven containers that we put out yesterday. How many do you think we got, Fred? Uh, a couple hundred thousand. No, it ain't a couple. Unfortunately, it's not a couple hundred thousand. I know exactly no, because I have inventory management in bag, tracker. Though, in the bag, in the runt bag. Oh, in the other, oh yeah, in the yeah, whole yeah, creek yeah, total, yeah, we have a yeah. couple hundred thousand. But, it, but in the ones that are getting ready for deployment at those sizes there, which are three separates, two millimeters apart, they are getting ready to be all combined into one very very soon to go out to the happy place five bags or something right yeah seven five, seven seven, yeah, seven, seven, liters, seven liters but the, the, i'm thoroughly convinced though that your product is gonna totally be based on where your seed comes from the quality of the seed has something to has do with it it's not it's not product. all it's not all of it it's not all of it not all of it no, but well, when you, you to see as it goes. I, well, I when you get when you know. buy when you got a lot of when you're counting oysters and you got a, and you got a lot of oysters and you're counting one two three four five and out of that five one of them is double or triple stuck together that's a not really a saleable oyster that you're gonna have to sacrifice. Then then you have a problem. Then when your seed comes from someplace else yep. and you're counting one two three four five and everyone's perfect and five ten twenty thirty forty and you're not seeing all them ones that are stuck together, it's making a difference because it's where the seed is grown and how it's manipulated when they grow it. Yep. Yep. 
yeah. or how much cults they put in when they yeah, set them. Right, Again, right. I have had a little experience. I started in the very, very beginning, where they begin, where they're spawned, where they hatch. I started with a volunteer program. They give you a 1,000 oysters. I graduated from that pretty quickly. I really didn't want that. I wanted action. I wanted action in that shack, in the shack where they had these screens, right. where there was only about two guys, maybe three max, that were allowed in that shack. That's where I wanted, and that's where I focused, and that's where I spent most of this past spring. And we had a record year in Cornell. And if I did it in Cornell, record under their tutelage, there's no reason why I can't do it on my own. So uh, who do you get it from? You get it from the best. Who's the best? Mook. I haven't got him as a sponsor yet. Uh, Mook is, uh, I think, Mook like you Farm. said, Mook Sea Farm in Maine, uh, but the Demoscata River. Wow. Uh, I'm really looking forward to... Uh, awesome to product to developing a relationship with MOOC. I'm also looking forward to developing a relationship in Massachusetts with some people. Uh, uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait, Tony Joe. Thank you so much, Tony Joe, for being who you are well, and where you you're from. Her summer beach house is right around the corner from a Mecca for oysters. And we will be maybe having a couple of those later on this week. All right. In front of the beautiful Duxbury Bay. Moving right along. All right. Did I cover that? Is that dude still on, Fred? What's the story? Did I answer his questions? I don't think he ever said anything more. It, oh, well, you know he's still watching. His, uh, his name is R-Man. R-Man? Yeah. All right. R-Man. Mr. R-Man. You are, Morning, Alan C. you are today's winner. Thank you so much for your great comment. I need your address. I need your shirt size. Would you like long sleeve? Would you like short sleeve? Uh, I think I've made my point. I think I've converted you. I think now that you are now come over to the Happy Oyster channel. And you will be tuning in each and every week. I hope. How much time have I been on? Whew, I'll get exhausted. 31. 31. We're there. Bang. I think I covered everything. Alan C is in the house from... Beautiful. Thailand? How's the scoop over there in Thailand? What's the scoop? You get what you put in it. Boy, does that sound like life, doesn't it? Yeah, let's go to Thailand and go some more. No one. No, we're not. Not yet. That's a long ways out yet. Thailand's a long ways out. I got my eyes set on Puerto Rico first. All right, I got nothing more. Frederick, you got anything else? It was a good show today, man. Really good show. Really good show today. Let me sit down over here for a second. Any last questions? I got nothing. I don't know. Oh, I need more coffee is what I need. Our man is asking for your email. Uh, email is happyoiko, H-A-P-P-O-Y-C-O, at gmail.com. HappyOiko at gmail.com. My phone number, if you'd like to text me or if you're local or whatever, uh, is 631-902-0836. It's on my hip or right there because that's what we use now uh, is the phone uh, to use our filming. Oh, man, that was a good show. Anything else, Fred? No, we're good. It's all good. It is. It's really good. We're having a great time. I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I really do. We would not be who we are and what we are if it wasn't for you guys. You guys are what make us tick. Um, I appreciate it. I really, to the bottom of my heart, appreciate you guys coming on each and every Saturday, 10 a.m., New York time. It is what makes us tick. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and or subscribe. Please come over to our Instagram. Our Instagram channel is hopping, baby. We got a lot of preliminary stuff that comes out there, and then it goes over to the thing, so it behooves you to be a subscriber and a follower. A and B. Yeah, I got a lot of short videos on oh, Facebook. On Freddie's Facebook. On He's Facebook. a Facebook guy. I'm not. Huh? What is your Facebook? I don't know. <laughs> We'll see if we can get you. We'll see if we can get Freddie's Facebook in the links below, so you guys can tune in to Freddie's Facebook. I'll see if we can get that in. You all right with that? Number again is six three one nine zero two zero eight three six. Six three one nine zero two zero eight three six. Six three one nine zero two zero eight three six. Six three one nine zero two zero eight three six. Six three one nine zero two zero eight three six.
0836 is my phone number. Uh, emails, uh, if you guys would like, anybody would like to become a sponsor, uh, all, right, all of those things, we are open for any and all business inquiries. I think uh, that's what my Facebook is. Frederick Reaver. Yeah. Put it up. Give me that. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. There it is. There is. Can you get that, T? Yeah. Spelling's right. Everything's good? Good? Yeah. Good. Here you go. Yeah. And you can check out his stuff. Again, he is not... <clears throat> the boat and the dog and the oysters on the call board and stuff running through the tumbler. Interesting stuff, you know. That, yeah, it, like, it, 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 it enhances. It enhances. Yeah, like they're, you know, little 30 minute, I mean, 30, 30 second, second videos, you know, here and here and there, clips, you know, cages, you know, whatever we're doing, I put it up and get a pretty good response on it. So go over and check out his Facebook if you'd like. Now, in all efforts of full disclosure, I want to be sure that all of his political views are not the political views of the Happy Oyster Company. He is in no way affiliated in any way, shape, or form in anything that comes through his Facebook to the Happy Oyster Company. Okay? No, if he I gets... calm down because they said I've been in Facebook jail too much. <laughs> and I do not want to go in Facebook jail, and there is no way. Again, it's it's kind of the good cop, bad cop thing. That's yin and the yang. It's all about balance. All right, guys, enough of my stuff. Thank you guys for tuning in. I want everybody to be cool. I want everybody to be kind. TJP, I was, I, I was, I, let me, give me that thing for a second. I wasn't nice enough. I, I didn't let, I didn't give her a second. I don't need any time. I'm good. You, got, you all right? I'm good. You got any, you got any, you got any, uh, Anyway, updates on our marketing or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, working on getting bags. Did a bunch of you know working on bags. Working okay. on getting bags. Good. Thanks. Oysters out. I want everybody to be cool. I want everybody to be kind. I want everybody to be happy. And of course, eat me. We'll see you next week. Adios.